Hello and welcome to Daily Visual Bible. I'm Abby Yates. Today we'll be exploring Genesis 16, in which Sarai suggests to Abram they sleep through a slave. You know, <laughs> it's funny how some of these chapters of the Bible seem as if they could have later inspired a modern soap opera. Anyway, if you want to be a reader of the show, all you have to do is send me a message to this email address, and I'll send you further details on how you can do that. You can use the same address if you wish to discuss anything I mention in the show, or even if you would like to send me a prayer request, please be sure to hit the subscribe. It makes this channel more noticeable among the YouTube community, and hopefully helps more people come to know that we exist and are here on a daily basis. Now let's do things right and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 16 Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bore him no children. She had a servant, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. Sarai said to Abram, See now, Yahweh has restrained me from bearing. Please go into my servant. It may be that I will obtain children by her. Abram listened with the voice of Sarai. Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar the Egyptian, a servant, after Abram had lived ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave to Abram her husband to be his wife. He slept with Hagar, and she became pregnant. When she saw that she was with child, her mistress was despised in her eyes. So I said to Abram, This wrong is your fault. I gave my servant into your bosom, and when she saw that she had become pregnant, I was despised in her eyes. Yahweh will judge between you and me. Abram said to Sarai, Behold, your maid is in your hand. Do to her whatever is good in your eyes. So I dealt harshly with her, and she fled from her face. Yahweh's angel found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness. By the fountain on the way to Sur, he said, Hey girl, Sarai's servant, where did you come from? Where are you going? She said, I am fleeing from the face of my mistress Sarai. Yahweh's angel said to her, Return to your mistress and submit yourself under her hands. Yahweh's angel said to her, I will greatly multiply your offspring, that they will not be counted for multitude. Yahweh's angel said to her, Behold, you are with child, or bear a son, which shall call his name Ishmael, because Yahweh has heard your affliction. He will be like a wild donkey among men. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. He will live opposite him all of his brothers. She called the name of Yahweh who spoke to her. You are a God who sees. But she said, Have I even stayed alive after seeing him? Therefore the world was called Bear Lahai Roy. Behold, it is between Kadesh and Barad. Agar bore son for Abram. Abram called the name of his son him Agar bore Ishmael. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar for Ishmael to Abram.